Tony's Ready? not here to run a charm Jump. school. He's here to dismantle men. And on his day, he can do that like nobody else. Tonin striking has come along in leaps and bounds over the last 18 months. Matsushima says he'll expose Tonin tonight. Knock him out in the second round. Tonin says Matsushima will be easy pickings. All he wants is gold around his waist. The shot at Tan Lee. Tonin's on the neck. You can see he's trying to adjust that guillotine. Matsushima's got to be very careful. You look at him separating the hands right here. He's going to try to pry that left arm off of his neck. And you can see the way Gary Tonin's lacing that leg up. That's just going to give him another option right here. Good job by Koyomi Matsushima to disengage and land a right hand on the exit. Nice stiff right hand there from Matsushima, number three ranked Tonin, number five. Good left hand there from Matsushima. Just testing the chin and the handlebar moustache on the American. This is what Tonin wants. This is his world. You can see him slowly starting to make those moves, make those adjustments. Koyomi's got the whizzer right now. He's trying to drive his shoulder down with that left arm just so he can keep that space. Tonin locked him up and he takes the back. Tricky exit into the back. All tied up like a pretzel here. 335 remaining, first of three. Tonin has the back of Matsushima. Very dangerous spot for Matsushima to be in. Tonin, Tonin pretty much ran through his grappling career with the rear naked choke. That's how he got his nickname, the Lion Killer. From the Mataleon. He's got a very dangerous rear naked choke. You can see that how that right arm is getting very close to his neck. Right now, Koyomi's got two on one, so he's got two hands protecting that arm. Body triangle now from Tonin. This is and not where much bad position. Be has come very early in this first round. There's a long time remaining until the bell for Matsushima to survive with a multi-time world champion on his back. This is check right here. This is check, ladies and gentlemen. How does Koyomi Matsushima defend this rear naked choke? How does he work his way out of this position? Watch this hand fighting that's going on right now between Tonin and Koyomi. He's trying to secure that hand so he can take that right arm and start to loop it right underneath the neck of Koyomi Matsushima. Tonin trying to dismantle him. The first thing Koyomi's got to do is get his body to the other side. He's got to go to the foot side. As long as he's on that side, it's going to be tough. That's it. But now that arm's around the neck. Is this the beginning of the end? Is this the beginning of the end? Uh, he's going to try to bring that hand around the back. If he gets that hand to the back of the neck, good job by Koyomi Matsushima. Here it comes! Here it comes! No, Tonin's going to reset. Not yet, says Matsushima. There's no waving the white flag, and Tonin resets, goes for it again. Matsushima is in survival mode. Can he survive 90 seconds here, Matsushima, with Gary Tonin hunting for the choke off his back? You can see how Tonin's trying to pry the chin up. He's trying to pull the head so that Matsushima gets his head up into the air so he can bring it under the neck. He's got to be careful in these scrambles and these little frantic little exchanges right here. Tonin could slip the arm underneath. Tonin resets. The triangle, the figure four still around the body. That will restrict the breathing of Matsushima. But as long as his body's on the foot side and not the knee side, a little bit of that pressure is relieved. So Tonin doesn't quite have the same squeeze. Good job by Matsushima to avoid that choke. That's going to build confidence. Now he's trying to drive him into the wall so Tony can't extend the hips. But he's got a great squeeze. Tonin tries again. 40 seconds remaining now. It's been a survival round ever since it went to ground for Matsushima. Tonin trying for the finish. Is the fat lady starting to sing? Um, um, yeah, yeah. Is this it? 20 seconds remain. 15 seconds now. Can Matsushima see the bell? 10 seconds. Turn it! He's not going to take him out 
the first round. Oh. Matsushima survived. My word. Wow. Three minutes with the most dangerous grappler in the world on your back. I got to applaud. I would take my hat off if I had one for Koyomi Matsushima to survive that round. Ooh. I think my heart skipped a couple beats right there, Michael. Look at this tight rear naked choke. He's got such a nasty rear naked choke, ladies and gentlemen. He's under the chin too. But Koyomi was just making these minor adjustments. He knows just how good Gary Tonin is on the ground. He did his homework. Tonin had him in check, but Koyomi would not go gently into the night. Kept fighting the hands, adjusting his position, and was able to last the round. And now we start at the stand up. Oh which is where the Karataka Matsushima wants to be. And now we enter the round where Matsushima said he would silence the American, where he said he would knock Tonin out. Right, ready? Round two. two. Matsushima bounds out of his corner. Tonin's gotta be careful with those leg kicks. He's got a beautiful overhand right, does Koyomi. Fake there from Matsushima. Now Koyomi's got to be very careful getting in close, especially catching that kick. Again, Tony's just relentless on that, but good job using the wizard to just prevent that takedown. Matsushima spins out of trouble. Koyomi's got to hit him on those exits. Hurt him for coming in like that. Slings the legs here, Matsushima. Up oh, has those karate Mawashigeti round kicks. Gary Tony's trying to use the egg beater for defense right there. Tonin comes forward, doesn't commit to that left leg. Fake from Matsushima, hands are low. There's the Mawashigeri. Fake again from Matsushima. Tonin hunting. Matsushima trying to intimidate the American. Matsushima, who previously vied for the world title unsuccessfully when Martin Ewan held it. How he'd love a crack at Tun Lee. But Tonin believes it's his destiny to become the one world champion and become the greatest featherweight of all time. His words. Takedown from Tony. Beautiful takedown. This is that grapple box he was talking about. He punches his way, gets nice and tight into the takedown, and then drags Koyomi down. Now he's in half. Big bridge. Has the back again. At three minutes 15 remaining, he takes the back of Matsushima. And there's that figure four around the body once more. Another three minutes to survive for Matsushima. We did not think, we've never seen anyone survive three minutes with Tone on his back. Matsushima did it in the first round and left to do it again in the second round. See, Michael, and both these guys are very dry. And see how his leg, check out Gary Tonin's right leg. He wrapped it over and he secured the arm. So now Koyomi is not going to be able to defend with his right arm because of the leg position of Gary Tonin. You can see now he's starting to extend that arm. It's going to be very difficult for Koyomi to defend. He's got to free that hand. And they're still dry. They're not really sweating very much at this point. Trying to set the choke here, Tony. Matsushima, it's all about survival, as it was for most of the first round. You can see Koyomi's trying to pry the feet apart so he can free his right hand. But Tony's just making these minute little adjustments. Like a ball of twine, all tied up, a demented game of twister. Gary Tonin taking his time systematically methodically until he finds the opening. So he finds the chink in the armor that will finally put the finish on Matsushima. Let's see if Koyomi here can turn into the half guard here of Gary Tonin. Gary Tonin's got that long arm locked up. It's all these little moves. It's these little positions where he's locking certain positions, where he's locking certain limbs and immobilizing those limbs. Now he's going to end up on top. Now he's going to, he really wants that back position. He really wants that rear naked choke. And he's still got the arm pin too. You can hear the corner of Matsushima guiding him through this scenario. Lots of instructions from the Japanese corner.
Man, Michael, I've been in the blue basement at Henzo Gracie's Academy out there in New York City, and I've seen the way these guys train and the, the development that goes into their grappling game is second to none. These guys are absolute geniuses on the mat, and we're seeing that. This is high-level grappling, ladies and gentlemen, but Koyomi is in there. 45 seconds till the bell now for Matsushima. Will it frustrate Tonin if he can't finish Matsushima in this round? I don't think Tonin's going to get frustrated in grappling. He might get frustrated on the feet if Koyomi was touching him and he wasn't able to get that takedown, but he's just biding his time. He's setting the traps, seeing exactly how Koyomi responds. But Koyomi's defense is superb. He may be setting the trap, but Matsushima not taking the cheese. And now he's on position Ooh, now for Matsushima. 15 seconds to go in the round. He wants to drop elbows. He wants to drop knuckles. There's the knee. There's the ground and pound. And the crowd, the small but lively crowd, responds. Matsushima, a final right hand on the belt. How game is Matsushima? He is tough, but he's doing all the right things. He's in some really bad spots, and he's defending so well. I was so impressed the way that Tony trapped his arm. He, that he didn't have the use of his right arm, and Tony still couldn't finish Matsushima. That goes to say just how good Koyomi's grappling is. There he is trying to attack the inside leg. He might want to drop the leg kicks and utilize just those hands at this point. Psychologically, though, for Tony, so self-assured coming in that he believed that Matsushima would just be a stepping stone for him, but no matter how hard he's tried, Dragon, he can't finish Matsushima. That's two rounds. True, but he's not really in any danger. He not hasn't been danger. put in any kind of problems right now. he hasn't right now. finished Matsushima as easily as he perhaps uh, thought he should. Ready? But do you remember the match with Rahul Raju? He <laughs> utilized every aspect of his grappling game until the third round, and so he still got the finish. He's patient. He knows what he's doing in there when it comes to the grappling. If Koyomi was keeping it on the feet, touching him with the jab, and he wasn't able to get the takedown, then I might buy the frustration angle. But I don't think it's really coming into play when it comes to the grappling angles. But Matsushima is no Rahul Raju. All respect to Rahul, but you're talking about the number three in the world in Koyomi Matsushima. Very nice good point. round kick to the legs there. Good point. Matsushima, can he land the right hand? Can he land the rear leg round kick? There's one to the rib cage. Left it hanging, Gary tied it up. Leg now he's now. going to his bread and butter. Now he's attacking the legs. That heel hook is there. He caught the leg kick, dropped into the heel. Now he's triangling that arm, that leg right there. He's looking for it. Koyomi gets back up. Cool. That even Nari is exactly. right there. There you have a dragon. That's the train with him and Nari coming up for Matsushima. He expected that. He knew that Tony was going to attack those legs. Southpaw stance on Tony, orthodox on Matsushima. Lots of instructions from the Japanese corner. Matsushima trying to close off the Americans' movement. Matsushima looks extremely relaxed, hands down by his waist. I think that's a good idea just to help stop the takedown if it does come in. Haven't seen as much of the boxing from Gary Tonin tonight. What does Matsushima need to do now, Dragon, with three minutes 20 remaining? Matsushima needs to hurt Tonin on the feet. He really needs to make a huge impression in these last three minutes. He's got to land that overhand right. He's got to drop Tonin because Tonin is so far ahead in the grappling area that he's just got that ground control down packed. Mitch, for all of his brashness coming in, does the message that Tonin is trying to send to the likes of Tan Lee, the champion, to the likes of Martin Yuan, the former champion, does it lessen if he doesn't finish Matsushima tonight? Quite possibly, especially in the eyes of Tan Lee and Martin Nguyen, who are just full of confidence and swagger. You know, they, they, they got the same sort of swagger that Tonin's got, but... I think what it really says is that, you know, Tony is extremely dangerous when it comes to grappling. But you can see right here, you know, Koyomi Matsushima was really able to survive and not get finished. Good round kick to the ribs there from Matsushima. 
There's the return from Tonin. This is going to put a chink in that 100% finishing rate that Tonin's got. Two minutes 10 remaining in the round. Leaping right hook there from Matsushima. Wants to test the draw of the American. Tonin drifting away from the power hand at the moment. It looks like Matsushima might run out of time here unless he can really yeah. start putting things together because the urgency is just not there for him to do damage to Tonin. Tonin's constantly switching stances, giving him different looks and landing shots. He's landing these leg kicks. Gotta wonder what Tun Lee is thinking right now watching this one. The champion. Good left hand there from Tonin. 135 remains now. Matsushima was looking to go downstairs and secure a leg. He was looking for the tape, but again, he's not really landing shots. He's not really putting these big punches together. This is his opportunity. This is Matsushima's chance to defend that number three spot because Gary Tony had so much ground control in rounds one and two that he's built up such a massive lead in this matchup. Matsushima needs to do something significant with 70 seconds to go. Front kick there from Tony. Matsushima's got to put the foot down. He's got to go now. One minute remaining. Outside leg kick, Matsushima. Landed a couple of good right hands early on. There's a short right to the jaw. High knee from Tony. High kick. 40 seconds. He's got. But this is also the first time that Gary Tonin has not had his head coaches inside his court. He brought his training partner, Yu Ting, as a sort of strategic decision just to enable the training to continuously happen. He doesn't have John Donaher. He doesn't have Tom to blast in his corner for this time. So that may also be affecting Tonin as well. Round kick from Tonin. And contrary to popular, popular opinion, it looks like we are going to go the distance. We are three rounds between two superb featherweights. Two dominant rounds from Tonin on the ground. If Tonin gets the nod, what message does it send? Striking in the final round. Nice right hand there from Gary and the high knee. Is it the message that Tonin wanted to send? Let us know your thoughts, folks, across all your social media platforms at One Championship. On the YouTube chat, on Facebook, on Twitter. Tonin has been saying for a while he deserves a title shot. Does he deserve it? Let us know. Does he deserve it now against Tun Lee? Let's go to Tom Lau. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have scored this contest in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. From the blue corner, Gary Tona. There's no doubt about it, Gary Tonin is still undefeated. Came in ranked number five.